Hello Year One and welcome to Friday's English lesson and the final part of innovating our poem this week. So uh, here are thinking boxes to success for one last time to remind ourselves what we're doing. We are writing a counting poem to entertain and the audience is your choice and we're thinking about noun phrases which I know you've already planned and then we're also thinking about capital letters, finger spaces and full stops. So let's start with another poem. This one is called Seaside by Shirley Hughes and it says Sand in the sandwiches, sand in the tea, flat wet sand running down to sea. Pools full of seaweed, shells and stones, damp bathing suits and ice cream cones. Waves pouring in to a sand castle moat, men the defences now were afloat. Waters for splashing, sand is for play, a day by the sea is the best kind of day. I don't know about you, year one, but that makes me want to be on the beach. I miss uh, the nice sunny weather, but it will, summer will be here before we know it, won't it? So let's think about uh, what we did yesterday. So yesterday, we innovated the first part of our poems. So I'd like you to read the first part of your poem now and check the capital letters and full stops. So I'm going to read mine, and I want to check that I've innovated in all the right places and that I've got my capital letters and full stops. And then I'd like you to have a go and then we can write the next part. Okay, so mine is called Five Little Fish. Five playful fish were swimming near the shore. One saw a shark and then there were four. Four jolly fish were swimming out to sea. One found some treasure and then there were three. So hopefully when you wrote your poem yesterday, you put each line on a separate line. I did forget to say that to you in our learning yesterday. Don't worry if you didn't, but when we set out a poem, it would be really great if you have to continue it in this way so that it's on uh, each line um, so that you can really see the structure of the poem. So I'd like you now to pause the video, read through, double check everything's where it should be so that we're ready to move on to the next part, okay? So pause the video now. Well done, year one. So, um, Hopefully you've read through the first part of your poem and now you're ready to write the second part. So like I said yesterday, you should have left space in your English book to carry on um, straight underneath so that it's all one poem. So I've got the uh, bit here now where I need to fill in the missing words to innovate my poem. And I've got my um, adjectives, my noun phrases here, and I've got the ones that I used yesterday crossed off. And the same with the things that the fish might swim off and do. So I've got the choice now of three uh, noun phrases. I've got happy fish, colourful fish or friendly fish for the three. So I'm going to go with three happy fish, I think. So three happy fish. And now I can cross that off on here. So you know, do that one again. Three happy fish. Now what shall we do? One. Hmm, what should I have? So I've got now left on my list. I've got one went looking for shells and I've got one got lost. So I'm going to say one went looking for shells, I think. Pop that in here, my blank space. So one went looking for shells. And then there was two. Okay, now I'm going to cross that out so I don't use it again, making sure I've changed all my ideas. Two, hmm, shall I have two colourful fish or two friendly fish? I'm going to have two friendly fish. So I'm going to change that to red, to friendly, oh, I can't spell friendly, oh, add it in there. Two friendly fish, we're having great fun. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna cross off uh, that one on here. Brilliant. And now I need to think, two friendly fish, we're having great fun. One, hmm, well, I've only got one option left now, haven't I? So it's one got lost is what I'd like to have for my last, Thing that the fish are going to solve today. So one got lost. And then there was one. I'll cross that off now. So the last part I've got here now is one something fish. Well, I haven't got fish, but I'm going to put one um, something fish with my noun phrases. And I've only got uh, colourful left. So I'm going to pop that one in and cross it out now. And I'm going to pop it in here. One colourful fish. And this one's a little bit different for the last part. She says, in the mermaid poem, it's, I like the warm sun. But I thought, oh, I know year one can do a better adjective than warm. 
So I'm wondering if you can think of another adjective you could use to describe the sun in what your fish is going to say. I like the something sun. So I've had a think. And I'm going to write, I like the gorgeous sun, because that's how I feel about the sun. I like the gorgeous sun. Away she went, and then there was none. So I have innovated all the correct places. I'm going to read through to make sure it all makes sense. So three happy fish. Now what shall we do? One went looking for shells, and then there was two. Two friendly fish were having great fun. One got lost and then there was one. One colourful fish, I like the gorgeous sun, away she went and then there was none. So I've innovated in all the right places. So when you come to do yours, in the place where I've got the red writing, that's where you're going to put your ideas in, okay? So it might be that you've got some of the same noun phrases as me, like happy fish or colourful fish, but you might put them in a different order and then you've got your ideas for what they've gone off to do, okay? So where every time you see the red, you need to change it. And if you see the black, then you're just copying that writing. Okay, now before I let you go and do your um, end of your poem, I'm going to put my two parts together and I'm going to read it through. Because once you have uh, innovated your end, I'd like you to perform your poems. So let me pop mine here. So there you go. Now I've got my, my full poems. I'm going to read the whole thing now, starting with the title. So Five Little Fish by Miss Adams. Five playful fish were swimming near the shore. One saw a shark and then there were four. Four jolly fish were swimming out to sea. One found some treasure and then there were three. Three happy fish, now what shall we do? One went looking for shells and then there was two. Two friendly fish were having great fun. One got lost and then there was one. One colourful fish, I like the gorgeous sun. Away she went, and then there was none. I'm so happy with my innovative poem year one because I've taken the ideas of the original poem, but I've changed the character and I have used different uh, adjectives. They just use little for all of them. We've used lots of different adjectives and we've thought of different ideas for what the fish are going to go and do. So I'm gonna go back to this page so that you can see which part you need to write now. And the task is to so write the second part of your innovative poem and can you perform it once you have done. So it'd be really amazing to see on Class Dojo your completed poems. So you're going to write this part now underneath what you wrote yesterday. And then I'd be really impressed if I can see some videos as well of you performing your poem. So it might be that you just read it or it might be that you do some actions as well. It's up to you what you'd like to do. But I know you've done a really super job with innovating your poem this week. So I know the end is going to be great as well. I really look forward to seeing them on Class Dojo and I will see you again next week for some more English. So bye year one.